countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. From the far horizons of the unknown come tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future, adventures in which you'll live in a million could be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine, presents X minus one. We go forward in time to the days when war has been outlawed. And in its place, there is a system of carefully controlled, legalized murder. The story, The Seventh Victim, by Robert Sheckley. Is that the mail, Jenny? Bring it right in. No, no, it isn't the mail. Are you anxious, Stan? Well, you know how it is when you're waiting for notification. It's been two weeks the government's behind schedule, as usual. Oh, that's always the way it is. Now, when you get to be my age, you won't worry about it anymore. At 73, you can afford to wait for the mail. Well, how about the ad? Have you got it done? Sure, E.J. Want me to play it back for you? Of course, I recorded it myself. We'll have an actor in for the actual recording. You ready? Go ahead. Hi there, neighbor. When you're in a crowd, when you're among strangers, do you feel safe? Are you protected by that vital underarm area? You aren't, unless you own a protect suit. The finest tailoring in the world has gone into a Morger and Freeline protect suit to make it the leader in men's fashion. Protect suit is the safest as well as the smartest. Every protect suit comes with special built-in gun pocket guaranteed not to bulge. Oh, nice. Very nice. A touch of the concealed button throws the gun into your hand, cocked, safety off. Why not drop into the protect store nearest you? Why not be all safe? Oh, that's fine, Stan. That's fine. That's a very nice, dignified commercial. Mm -hmm. And you can relax. I picked up the mail just before I came in. Here's your notification. That's it, that's it. Look, from the ECB, that's the baby. Oh, you're not going to open it now. Oh, no, 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 of course not. No one is supposed to know the victim's name except the hunter. That's right. Have a good hunt, boy. You need a kill. Uh, you've been all keyed up. Well, it's too bad you have to retire, E.J. Well, uh, I got into the tens club. Ten hunts. That's not such a bad record. Ten hunts, of course not. Ten hunts, and then, of course, victim in between. That's 20 kills. Mm -hmm. I sure hope my victim isn't anyone like you. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, what number will this be? My seventh. Oh, lucky seven. Go to it. We'll get you into the tens club yet. Uh, by the way, I, I got a circular in the mail. Uh, maybe you'd like to use it. Hmm, maybe. Victims, why take chances? Use an O'Donovan accredited spotter. Let us locate your assigned killer. Pay after you get him. Oh, well, uh, thanks a lot, E.J., but uh, I've got my own spotter. Very good fellow. Yeah, well, I suppose you're anxious to get home. Open up and find out who your victim is. What's that? Oh, shooting down the hall. I guess somebody got his victim. Good for him, eh? You bet. <laughs> oh, it feels wonderful, E.J. I feel alive again. Morrow's Garage. Hello, Ed. Freeline. Oh, hi, Mr. Freeline. I'm going out on one, Ed. Wow. Good luck, Mr. Freeline. I, I suppose you want me to stand by. Yeah, that's right. 
I don't expect to be gone more than a week or two. I'll probably get my notification of victim status within three months of the kill. Well, I'll be standing by. A good hunting, Mr. Freeline. Now, you'll be sure to save time for me now, Ed. I'd hate to be caught as a victim without a first-class spotter on my side, huh? Oh, now, don't you worry, Mr. Freeline. I'll be right there in your corner. I've got a couple of good ideas for an ambush that I haven't tried yet. Good, good. Well, I'll get back in touch with you right after the kill. So long. <laughs> Mr. Freeline? What are you doing in my apartment? Uh, allow me my card. <laughs> Emmanuel Gale, Emotional Catharsis Bureau. Hmm? Uh, uh, what do you want from me? Oh, just a standard spot check in reorientation. Oh, oh I, I see you've got your notification. Yeah, that's right. I uh, haven't opened it yet. Do you mind? Uh, no, oh, oh, go right ahead. Oh. Yes. Uh, anything wrong, Mr. Freeline? I mean, uh, everything there. Photographs, address, description data. Yes, but it says Janet Marie Patsig. Janet Marie? I've never killed a female. Is this in order? Well, just a moment till I check my list. Yes, that's right. The girl registered with the board under her own free will. The law says she has the same rights and privileges as a man. Could you tell me how many kills she has? Well, I'm sorry, sir, but the only information you're allowed is the victim's legal status and uh, the descriptive data that you've received. Uh, could I draw another? Well, you can refuse the hunt, of course. That's your legal right, but uh, you'll not be allowed another victim until you have served. Ah, <laughs> oh, women, always trying to horn in on a man's game. Why can't they stay home? Just doesn't seem feminine. Look, uh, Gail, do you mind if I start packing? Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. Go right ahead. If you like, you can give me the historical checkout while you pack, and I'll just uh, uh, tick it off here on my list. Well, well, all right. Um, where do you want me to start? Um, let's see. Uh, question one, I think. When was the Emotional Catharsis Board established? Well, the board was formed at the end of the Fourth World War or the Sixth. Depends on if you count the new Argentina war. Well, either count will do. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, let's see. Um, weapons increased in magnitude, efficiency, and exterminating power. Soldiers became accustomed to them, and it looked as if another war would be the war to end all wars. Would you hand me those shirts, please? The, oh, yes. Oh, of course. So, uh, this time, the peace had to last for all time, but the government recognized the presence of a need for violence in a large percentage of mankind. They recognize the validity of competition, mm -hmm. love of battle in the face of overwhelming odds, mm -hmm. and these, they felt, were admirable traits for the race. Mm. So their problem was to arrange a lasting peace that would stop the race from destroying itself without removing responsible traits. I'll just get a new toothbrush in New York. Very good, very good. All right, Mr. Freeline. Now, if you could run down the basic rule. Well, anyone who wants to signs up with ECB for a fine legal murder. Then, of course, he has to take his turn a few months later if he survives. The Emotional Catharsis Board picks the victims' names at random. A hunter is allowed six months to make his kill. Uh, uh, armament? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's allowed to use a standard caliber pistol... He can wear no armor. Victim is allowed to wear armor and is allowed to hire spotters. Very good, very good. Now, we don't have to go over the penalties for killing or wounding the wrong man. I'm sure you know all that. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful system, isn't it? All the people who want to kill can, and that's about one-fourth of the population. Those who don't want to, don't have to. At least there aren't any more big wars, just uh, hundreds of thousands of small ones. Huh? <laughs> all right, Mr. Freeline, you're checked out for orientation. Uh, all the same, I don't exactly like the idea of killing a woman. But she did sign up, didn't she? <laughs> That's right. Uh... Janet Patsig in New York. Well, I'll be taking one of our protect suit specials. Have you seen one of these, Mr. Gale? When I actuate the mechanism, watch how fast the gun springs out at the ready. Oh, excellent. It's, it's excellent. Ah, oh, strange, isn't it, Mr. Gale? Each killing is a new excitement. It's, it's something you just don't tire of, like a, a French pastry or women or drinking or anything else. Yeah. Uh, let's see, there. 
Well, I guess that's it. Now, a note for the milkman, and that's about all. Well, I'll be getting along, Mr. Gale. <laughs> oh, and uh, good hunting, Mr. Freeline. <laughs> Wait two, Chief. Carlton Hotel. Carlton, you bet. Just get into town? Is it that noticeable? I've been picking up from the airport for maybe ten years. I can spot an out-of-town killer by the way he carries his suitcase. Uh, you wouldn't be working as a spotter, would you? Oh, no, no, no. The hack bureau don't like it. This isn't your first kill, I can tell. Yeah? Yeah, guys on their first kill get too anxious. They want to drive right to the victim's address, walk right into an ambush. I'd say you had maybe five, six... Seven. Seven? Well, you haven't got too long to go before you get into the tens club. You ever been hunting? Nah, I can't afford it. Look, I'll tell you what. If you can just drive me around the Chelsea area, I'd just like to look at the streets. Aha, uh -huh, that's where your victim hangs out, huh? Sure, sure, be glad to. You know what you ought to do, Mac? Hmm? You ought to drop in at the Hunter Hunting Show at the Coliseum. They got everything. Bulletproof vests for victims, hats with bulletproof crowns. I seen an ad for a Malvern straight shot ECB approved. Carried a load of 12 shots with a deviation of less than a thousandth inch per thousand feet. Oh, it sounds like a fine gun. And they got all kinds of trick things. You know, canes with four-shot magazines, 45 caliber flashlights, all kinds of things. Oh, well, those kind of novelties are all right for the first time, but the... The old-fashioned ways are the best. Hey, look at that. Somebody got it. I missed it. Eh, nothing to see now. Mm. In about four minutes, the guys from the Department of Sanitation will carry away the corpse. Yeah. Well, this is the neighborhood, Chief. You want to give me the address? No, no, I'll just drive around. Okay, you're paying a meter. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. What is it, Chief? There. That sidewalk cafe, you see? Yeah, shall I stop? No, no, just drive slowly. There she is. Sitting at a table. You mean the victim is a dame? Yeah, she's just sitting there. Is she crazy, exposing herself in the open? Boy, that's sure no way to stay healthy. Not when you're a victim. Drive around the block. Okay. And she looks... Younger than her pictures. She looks sad. Wonder if she's been notified. Well, she's got to be notified, Chief. They can't send you your notice until her signed receipt gets back to the office. It's automatic. Yeah, that's right. Isn't she even going to try to defend herself? Doesn't look like it. Here we come again. She's still there. <laughs> All I have to do is just ride by in a cab and pump a bullet into it. Okay, Chief, I'll go real slow. Uh, you be sure to allow for the motion of the car. No, no, no. Park across the street. Sure, sure. Ah. Both her hands are on top of the table. An easy stationary target. All I gotta do is... Say, that's some gadget. Hey, uh, remember to roll down a window before you shoot that gun, huh? No, I... Ah, it's an easy shot. It's too easy. Uh, look, mister, hurry up, will you? If a cop comes along and finds you shooting out of my cab, he'll give me a ticket for double parking. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, it's too easy. All my other six kills have been hard. My victims have tried every dodge. One of them hired a dozen spotters. I got them all. I dressed as a milkman. Hey, that's pretty clever. Nah, this wouldn't be a trophy. Here, put your flag up. I'm getting out. Okay. Going over to talk to her. She's your victim. I know, I know. It's too easy this way. Hello? What? Hey, look, uh, if I'm being fresh, just tell me and I'll go. I'm an out-of-towner here on a convention. I'd just like to talk to somebody... If you'd rather I didn't... Oh, I don't care. May I uh, sit down? Uh, like to buy you a drink, if I can? I don't care. My name is Stanton Freeline. I'm Janet. Janet what? Janet Patsick. Well, nice to know you. Uh, 
are, are you uh, doing anything tonight, Janet? I'm probably being killed tonight. Oh, are, are you a, a victim? You guessed it. If I were you, I'd stay out of the way. No sense getting hit by mistake. Well, you're uh, awfully calm about it. Uh, don't you care? Haven't you got any spotters? No. Mr. Freeline, I'm a bad, bad girl. Huh? I got the idea I'd like to commit a murder, so I signed for ECB. Then I couldn't do it. Oh, I am sorry. But I'm still in, of course, even though I didn't shoot. I still have to be a victim. Well, why don't you hire some spotters? I couldn't kill anyone. I just couldn't. I don't even have a gun. Well, you got a lot of courage coming out in the open this way. What can I do? You can't hide from a hunter, not a real one. I don't have enough money to make a disappearance. Well, since it's your own defense, I should think... No, it... no, I've made up my mind about that. This whole thing is wrong, this whole system. When I had my victim in the sights, I saw how easily I could... I could... Oh, let's forget it. I'm glad you talked to me. At least it'll pass the time. <laughs> It's been a lovely dinner. Just lovely. Well, I'm glad you liked it. I usually stop at this little place when I'm in New York. Do you come in often? Oh, on business. I mean, clothing, you know. What do you do? Oh, I'm an actress. <laughs> well, that's a laugh. I'm not really an actress. I'd like to be an actress, but none of the producers seem to see it that way. How old are you? 22. I've only been in New York for a year. Uh, you know, you're... You're really being very foolish just sitting out in the open that way. Why, why, you're a hunter. could come along and just pump a bullet into you. I know, I know, but somehow I feel safe with you. Oh. Say, uh, Janet, would you like to go to the gladiatorials with me tonight? We got about 20 minutes. We'd only miss the opening numbers. Well, I suppose so. Might as well, huh? Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Why? Oh, I thought the New York gladiatorials would be something special. It's about the same as Cleveland. Historical events, swordsmen and netmen, duels with sabers and foil. Isn't there any difference? Well, a duel to the death is the same in Cleveland as it is in New York. You know, that's funny. I used to think that gladiatorials were very exciting. Now they just make me a little sick. Well, you can get tired of the best of shows. Frankly, I think it was a mistake starting to televise the gladiatorials. It cut down on the box office for one thing, and for another, it just isn't the same as being right there in the stadium, you know? No, no, it isn't. Well, uh, you want to stay for the second half? Let me see. They got, um, hmm, bullfighting, lion fighting, bow and arrow, and dueling on the high wire. No, I've had about enough. All right. Shall I take you home? Would you please? Sit down. I'll fix you a drink. Janet. What? You're crying, aren't you? Oh, no, no, not really. It's just the thought that any minute from anywhere a bullet can come crashing into me. It makes me feel so, so soft and helpless. You are soft. Janice. You, you're leaving New York soon? I suppose so. Convention's only lasting another day. I'll be sorry to see you go. Send roses to my funeral. Janet. What? Janet, I don't want you to be killed. Well, there's not anything you can do about it, is there? Janet, I love you. Oh, Stan. What is it? What is it? Please, oh, please darling, please. But you... You can't, you can't love me. I'm a victim. I won't live long enough to... You won't be killed, Janet. Listen to me, Janet, darling. I'm your hunter. Are you... Are you going to kill me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm going to marry you. Oh, Stan, Stan, my darling. 
Oh, the waiting. I've been so frightened. It's I... all over. It's all over. Think what a story it'll make for our kids, oh, huh? Oh, darling. How I came to, to murder you and left marrying oh, you. Oh, Stan, kiss me. Oh. Oh. oh I... I think I'd better have a cigarette. Oh, let's start packing. I, no, I wait. Get... You haven't asked if I love you. What? You haven't admired my cigarette lighter. What are you talking about? It's a lovely lighter, isn't it? With a small hole in the bottom. Just large enough for a thirty-eight caliber bullet. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. I'm not being funny, darling. But Jenna, 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 I love you. I told you, I love you. What's the matter with you? I don't love you, Stanton. <laughs> I am a good actress, aren't I? Even though the producers don't think so. You... You knew all along... Yes, of course. Don't reach for that. Yes, darling. <laughs> well, now I can join the Tens Club. You have just heard X-1, presented by the National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine. X-1 has brought you The Seventh Victim, a story from the pages of Galaxy written by Robert Sheckley and adapted for radio by Ernest Canoy. Featured in the cast, Lawson Zerby as Freeline, Terry Keene as Janet, his killer, Frank Maxwell as the cab driver, Ian Martin as Emmanuel Gale of the Emotional Catharsis Bureau, Irv West as Freeline Spotter, and Arthur Hughes as his business partner. Your announcer, Fred Collins. X-1 was directed by Kenneth McGregor and is an NBC Radio Network production. Music